Hey Noah, this is Tristan with Big Picture SEO. Uh, we spoke on the phone earlier and I told you I was going to shoot you over this video, just showing you a couple different ways you can boost your online presence, and this is that video. I don't want to take up a lot of your time with this, so I'm just going to get straight into it. Uh, so before I tell you different ways that you can boost it, I want to show you where you currently lie in Google's ranking. So I put your domain here in the tool I like to use, it's called Airs, and I'll explain what all of this means throughout the video, but we're going to stick with traffic and keywords for now. So traffic is going to be the amount of people that come on your website a month, which is five. And then keywords are going to be the words and phrases that Google deems you want to be ranking for or that are common search terms that are found within your website. So if we go in, we can see where you're getting your traffic from. And so if we look here, you got my house painting, your business name. Uh, you know, 20 people are searching this a month. You're in the second position, which means that uh, if you, you know, look up my house painting, you'll be the second organic website to pop up. And then you get three people a month from that. Uh, and, you know, it's good to be ranking for your business name, obviously, but this could be looked up, you know, in like New York for my house painting or something or, you know, Florida. Um, so you want to stay, you know, more location oriented and buyer intent. So like house painting St. Louis, the one that you have here, location that has 150 searches. You're in the 22nd position. So the second page of Google and you get zero people a month from that. And then, you know, St. Louis painting company, house painter St. Louis, you know, they have all these searches, but you're not ranking uh, position wise for that. So you're not getting any traffic. And if we move over to your number one competitor when it comes to organically ranking, so if we put in Painting St. Louis, uh, Kennedy Painting is going to be the very first organic listing here. And so we put in stlouishousepainting.com. And they get 2,000 people a month on their website, but they're ranking with 3,100 keywords. So we can go in and see where all that traffic is coming from. And I looked through this already, uh, like some of it here, like how long does deck paint take to drive? This is coming from their blog page. So this, again, could be looked up all over the United States, even the world, honestly. Uh, but just say, we'll say like Indiana, that's where I'm from. Uh, we'll say that people are looking this up in Indiana. Like, you know, three of these people could be from here. Three of the people that they get on their website could be from Indiana. So it's not, it doesn't really matter on the, this traffic here. Like two of them could be from Missouri, but they got St. Louis painting. So 350 people are searching that term up They're in the second position. So they get 49 people a month from that painting St. Louis. Uh, this was updated, you know, almost a month ago. So it's obviously not completely up to date. So you, we saw that they were in the first position. The ranking can move, you know, day to day or week to week is what you'll see. Uh, but they get 49 people a month from that. Painters in St. Louis, 350. Uh, third positions, they get 46. And we keep going down, you know, as they move lower through the positions and whatnot, they get less and less traffic and, you know, different keywords. Oh, excuse me. Different keywords give them less traffic. So the way that you're going to be found for more keywords on your page, because, you know, you only had 15. Uh, which aren't, they're not all bad ones, but you could definitely add a few more is by going out and rewriting your content a little bit, adding more to it, um, you know, saving your pictures as content keywords and, and whatnot. But I'm not saying you want to, you know, put five different keywords within like this one paragraph here because Google will see that as spam and, you know, spam, they hate spam. Uh, authenticity is the best thing that you can have in Google's eyes whenever they index your site because uh, their algorithms are built out to push those spam sites away. And then um, how you move yourself up position-wise is, is with backlinks. And all a backlink is is a link within a website that links back to yours. So, for example, if I could click this and it would take me to your website, that would be a backlink. And, you know, you only have four here. And then a referring domain is going to be a website that has your link within it. So, again, one website, and it's linking back to you four times. And we can go in and we can see which website this is. So, freetree.com or freetree.com is linking to you four times and that's going to be you know this little redirect thing not sure what it's going to be uh, if it has any relevancy to what you actually do so let's go and look real quick and it doesn't it's just a just a link here and i don't want to click it just in case it might be a spam on a site because or a, or a virus site that happens a lot actually when there are if i'm not sure about sites they can just be you know spam sites or whatever uh, but it's not giving you any power at a domain rating of zero so if we go back over to st louis or kennedy painting here and we look, I'm pretty sure they had over 3,000, I think it was 3,300 or 3,400. Okay, so they had 3,300 backlinks. We can go in and we can see, you know, exactly where they're getting their power from. So they got Go Smart Bricks, Apartment Therapy, Home Guide, Safe Gate, 105.7 The Point. Um, so I'm get, this is an influential link here. I'm guessing it's a local radio station in your guys' area. And these are really good. You know, it's harder to beat these because it has a lot of... Uh, of authenticity and relevance, or not relevancy, but authenticity behind it, credibility behind it in Google's eyes because it's a radio station. It's you know a real, for sure real uh, thing here. 
So you, you would need like to get the exact same kind of link or, you know, guest post, which a guest post is only where you go in and you pay like five to $20 as a good baseline to get your domain listed and then they'll give you power for that. But it can go up to $100 depending on how authoritative the, the site is, the link would be. They got ehow.co.uk, AJC, Contractor Talk, uh, St. Louis Mag, and this would be like another influential link here. It has a high domain rating too. So if you can, you definitely want to get listed in this uh, magazine site or whatever it would be, is what I'm guessing with the mag. Blog, Paint Talk, I'm guessing another blog here, blog. And uh, blogs are really good because when Google indexes that and they see that, you know, you're posting um, inside of another blog, not only does it make you look like more of a real person and authentic, but it shows that you're willing to give out value onto the Internet without asking for anything in return, you know, nothing more than a link. And uh, good Samaritans are gold in Google's eyes. And again, just makes you look more credible and real as a person. And their algorithms are all about, you know, again, getting, excuse me, all about pushing away those spam sites, uh, giving people the best search results that they possibly can. And, you know, you'd have to go through all of these and see exactly where you're getting their power. They're getting their power from. And you'd want to, like, get in whatever they're in and then try and get in, you know, more authoritative things. Um, so it would be definitely really time consuming, but 100% worth it. And I'm not saying go out and buy just 4,000 links. That's I'm saying the exact opposite, actually, because if you go to a random website and do that, the odds are that, like, half of those aren't going to be relevant to what you do at all. And, like, with content, like, you couldn't just put talk about, you know, I don't, like, driving your car down the street and you saw, I don't know, you saw like some something, it doesn't matter, but if it's not relevant to what you do, Google, it's easy to spam. So same with backlinks. If you had like a pizza link coming back to you, um, they would be like, okay, so a pizza place is linking to a painting company. It doesn't really make sense unless maybe you were talking about how you painted the building. Uh, so they're not going to give you the power. And then the last thing I'm going to want to talk to you about is citations. And that has a lot to do with the map pack listing here. So a citation is just your business's name, address, and phone number, and you're going to list those inside of directories, and a directory is just a website that allows you to do that. So things like Yellow Pages and Expertise and 3 Best Rated, Kev's Best, Houses, Home Advisor, Angie's, uh, Local Database, Easy Local, and those are like 10, but there's literally hundreds out there that you can put yourself in, and the more the merrier, and again, the more relevant they are to your, to your industry, the better. So you don't want to put yourself in a landscaping uh, citation on Yelp or something because, again, Google will see that and it doesn't make any sense, so they don't they don't care. They don't care to, to boost uh, your power for that. So again, you're going to maybe want to go and rewrite your content a little bit, add some more keywords in there to be found for. If, you know, you go through and you look for some that you don't have that might be high volume. Uh, and then, you know, 100%, you got to go out and get yourself some high authoritative backlinks, go get whatever they have, and then, you know, more. And uh, so some, some excuse me, list more citations. Uh, I hope that this was helpful for you. I do offer these services, so if this is something you feel like you might be interested in, feel free to reach back out to me. My number is 812-827-3138. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and thank you for your time.